Hi, a few people have asked me to put a tutorial on YouTube about how to play Wild Horses. So here goes. I'm going to play this in the original Rolling Stones key of G, which should make it easier for most piano players. Susan Boyle sings it in the key of A flat. If you want to hear my full version in A flat, you should find a link on this page. If you want to play in A flat yourself, then just take everything I'm about to show you up by a semitone. Let's start with the tune. It's very simple. Susan plays around with it a bit, so feel free to do the same when you play it on the piano. But it's basically this for the verse. OK, so you've got this, which is D, D, E, B, B followed by this, which is B, F sharp, D, E, B, and it goes on to this bit, which is A, A, B, E, G, followed by this, which is D, B, A, G, A. And the chorus is simply this. which is B, E, G, which is D, B, A, G, A. So there aren't too many notes. You need to familiarise yourself uh, with that melody before you can continue. So the next step is to put the chords in. There are only five chords within the whole song, and they're very simple. You've got the one chord, which is G, the minor two chord, which is A minor, the minor 3 chord, which is B minor, the 4 chord, which is C, and the 5 chord, which is D. And they go in this order, so you're not actually starting on your 1 chord, which is G, you're starting on the minor 3 chord, which is B minor. So I'll just put those simple chords at the moment together with the tune and you'll see how it works out. And then the whole thing repeats before you come to the uh, chords for the chorus which is starts on the minor 2 which if you remember is, is A minor four to one and five so those are your chords but obviously it's very very uh, bland at the moment because what Susan Boyle does to make this song sound very different is that she adds a ninth to pretty much every chord that we've got here apart from the five chord. The ninth is uh, very very simply um, from the root of a chord nine notes from here so one two three four five six seven eight nine so in other words you're adding to that G chord the simple G chord which is uh, G, B and D this note which is the A or you could transpose it down an octave and say it's it's that chord with the, with the second. So you've got G, A, B, and D. So instead of just playing a straight one chord and any of the other chords apart from the five chord, which I'll we'll mention in a moment, you're adding that ninth. And notice what a difference this makes if I if I add that and maybe spread spread the the notes out over the octave a little bit to the to the song. see that really changes the mood of the song and, and um, when you get to the five chord 
don't play the ninth. It's be better if you play uh, uh, what we call a, uh, a suspended eleventh and then resolve it. What I mean by that is instead of just playing your straight D chord, D, F sharp and A, start off with the eleventh which is uh, the G and resolve it onto the F sharp. So it goes like this. And now all you've got to do is add some arpeggios and other rhythms and you're nearly getting towards what Susan has created in her version of Wild Horses. Uh, if you want to hear uh, this, the song in more depth, as I said earlier, listen to my full version which is in A-flat, but it basically it's the same principles I've, I've recorded on this video here today. I hope this has been of help. Good luck and I hope you have an enjoyable time learning this piece. <laughs>